joining us today. We're making this very fashionable and eclectic multi-chain bracelet featuring these specialty finished chains from Blue Moon Beads. To get started, we're going to be cutting six inch lengths of chain, four in the copper, four in the black nickel, four in oxidized brass, and a six inch length in this antique silver, and then a seven inch length in the antique silver. We're going to use a multi-strand clasp to keep everything together. Now to get started making the bracelet, we're going to use this oval jump ring and we attach a variety of chains. I'm going to attach about four here in a combination of colors, I'm not using any type of scientific explanation for how I pick the colors, they're just randomly. And we simply slide them on using the last link and then we attach this to the multi-strand clasp and close up the jump ring. We repeat this for the remaining chain. And here we can see what it looks like when we've added all the chain except for the seven inch length to the multi-strand clasp, and at the end of each grouping, I've added another jump ring. We're gonna set this aside so that we can look at how to make the ribbon accents. Now to weave the ribbon through, I'm using a piece of flexible beading wire that I've just folded in half. It's acting as a needle. So I pull it all the way through, and then I skip down a couple of links to weave it back through the other way. And I just continue doing the same motion all the way down the entire length. And you want to leave a little bit of ribbon open so that it's not too tight. After I finished weaving the ribbon through, I added jump ring to one end and not the ribbon to it. Now to make the second ribbon accent, I'm repeating the same technique using a flexible beading wire as a needle to help drive it through one of these silver beads. These silver beads have larger holes than usual and that's to help the ribbon get through. You'll need to give it a good tug to make sure the ribbon gets all the way through. But once it's in there, that bead will kind of sit right where you want it on the ribbon. Now we repeat the same process again with the second bead. Now here we can see how it all comes together. I've used jump rings here to attach the ribbon accents to the outside of each end of the multi-strand clasp. Now to create kind of this eclectic, messy chain look, we're going to weave these ribbon accents into the chain. I start out by bringing it under one side, over the other, and then back under the next. I let it sit there for one second while I work with the second piece, and I do the same process. Over, I drive it under the ribbon accent, and then back under the last piece. Now that we've added in our ribbon accents, we can complete the bracelet by simply attaching each cluster or each ribbon accent to the clasp using the jump rings. Now after you've finished attaching all of your pieces using the jump rings, this is what your finished bracelet will look like. And that's how easy it is to make this wonderfully eclectic bracelet using Blue Moon Beads. For more inspiration and design ideas, visit bluemoonbeads.com. Check us out on Facebook too.